Hey guys, Robbie Webster here, and today I'm going to be opening up a package that I just got in the mail. And I'm pretty sure that this is from my friend Razorwire Reviews. It doesn't have a return address on it, but it says Royal Airmail, so I'm assuming it's from the UK, and that's where he's from. And I was expecting this package from him. Actually, um, it's... Uh, I what happened was there was an exclusive item that I wanted from this company and it turned out when I tried to purchase the the item it turned out to be um, that they didn't ship to the United States so um, when my friend found out he offered to forward it to me if I had it shipped to his house so that's what I did and this is what that is but it feels a bit bigger than what I was expecting so I think that he might have included a some extra some extra stuff, so let's find out what's inside of this. Slice it open here. And we got something wrapped in bubble wrap. Let's throw this on the ground. Looks like there's a few things in here. Nicely, nicely packaged. So it should be in good shape. I think I see a note too. Hey guys, I'm just going to put a little break in the video right here. Um, I got a note that goes along with this package from Luke, but I actually didn't receive it until after I filmed that video. So now that I have it, I'm just going to film it really quick and then insert it into the video and then we'll get back to opening up the package. But here's what it says. It says, hey Robbie, once again, thanks a lot for the package. It was very nice of you. Genuinely nice and generous people seem harder and harder to come by these days. Smiley face. I hope the steelbook and this package arrived safe and sound, and I've included a surprise or two in here. There's another note for you after you've seen what they are. I look forward to more videos from you, and thanks for watching mine. You're awesome, Luke. Thanks, man. Well, I'll try to grab that first without seeing anything else. Alright, so here's the note. Okay, so I'm going to read the note after because it tells what's in the package. And I, I want you guys to be surprised. I could kind of see through the package anyway, so I, I kind of knew. I had a little idea. Well, let's just grab the first one here. Very cool looking set that we do not have here in the U.S. It's the Hulk. This is the Eric Bana um, video, or the Eric Bana Hulk movie. And I know a lot of people don't really care for this one. I actually like it. Um, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. I've always liked it. I saw it when it first came out, and I've always enjoyed it. And it's a, it has a really cool slipcover. Um, this is part of the Real Hero series, which um, I saw Luke showing off a couple of months ago on his channel. It's very cool. Thank you very much. Let's see here. It's got a nice slipcover and a nice big Blu-ray case. I noticed that in the UK, their Blu-ray cases are, are different size. They're the same height, but they're thicker this way, which I, I kind of like. Yeah, so, so that's it. And I do not own this, but I've, I've wanted to pick this one up on Blu-ray. I have it on DVD. Um, but I actually do enjoy this movie. From time to time, I like to watch it. I like Nick Nick Nolte in the film. I thought he did a really good job. Let's grab this next one. Ah, cool. This is one that I haven't heard of. It's a movie called Submarine. And it looks interesting. It's a Richard Ioade film, which I, I've never heard of him. Uh, I'm not sure if he's very well known or not, because I haven't heard of some people. But there's what that looks like. And I'll read the note. It explains a little bit more about these movies. Um, I, don't, I don't think it says anything about the third item, so I'll read the note right now. Alright, okay, so this, this is what he wrote. Okay, so Hulk, I have no idea if you have it or like it. I do like it. It's alright if you don't. It's from the UK series called Real Heroes. I have a bunch of them. They're really cool. I'm getting the two Hulk films in May when they come out as steelbooks as part of Universal's 100th anniversary. So if you want this one, it's yours. Feel free to sell it if you like. I know it's a film that divides a lot of people. As for Submarine, I'm 90% sure you haven't seen it. it. And I haven't seen it. It's a film set in Wales and feels very much like a Wes Anderson film. So that means that I'm probably really going to like it because I love Wes Anderson. Um, a lot of it was filmed literally two minutes from where I live. I enjoyed it a lot and look forward to hearing what you think. Very cool, man. Thank you very much. I will watch it as soon as possible and put it into a DVD update and tell you guys what I think. 
but the last thing here is the thing that I ordered. I'm really excited to check this out. I actually have not seen it yet. It's the In Time Steelbook, and this is an exclusive from Play.com, and I'm very excited to have been able to get my hands on this. I know you can get it on eBay, but people just charge ridiculous prices because they know that the people in the U.S. that can't get it from Play.com will pay a lot of money to get this. But um, I've heard some some mixed reviews on the movie. I'm personally, I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna like it because I, I don't know. It just sounds very intriguing to me. The whole the whole idea. Uh, of the movie from what I've heard so far and I will definitely do an unboxing video of this set and I will talk about it in my next DVD update so thank you very much Luke for helping me out with this and for the extra gifts very cool I can't wait to check these out um, I really like this movie I'm looking forward to watching it again and I'm looking forward to checking this one out for the first time so if you guys haven't subscribed to him before his YouTube username is Razorwire Reviews, and I believe he has another channel that's more about vlogging, which is something else that I enjoy. And I think that that channel is Luke Ryan Lives, but even if that's not right, I'll leave an annotation and a link down below. So thanks for watching, guys.